Hi Taurus and welcome to your weekly tarot reading. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you are doing well. This, as you know, is a general reading for any sun, moon, or rising Taurus sign. We will take a look at the cards to get a sense of the awareness for the week. Okay, so we have the Ten of Rods, we have the Seven of Pentacles, and we have the Ace of Pentacles. So the Ten of Rods, we see this man pushing the wands up the path toward the castle. And this is typically a card where we feel burden, where we feel overwhelmed perhaps or overworked. And often in life, we, we feel that we can take on a lot and that we'll take care of things and get things done. We don't really think about the impact of that until afterwards, until we get a little more tired or exhausted or, or we get, you know, our immune system gets affected, we get sick. And we begin to think, well, why am I doing all of this? And so it's something to think about in your life is, are you doing too much? Is there something that you could take off your plate and to assign or to delegate to someone else. And this can be in the context of your marriage, your relationship. You may feel that you're doing all the heavy lifting uh, in a work relationship with a team. And everybody knows that sometimes within a team that some people slack off while others do twice the work. And so if you're in a situation where you're really feeling overworked, overburdened, you have a lot on your plate, maybe it's financial concerns, whatever it is, but it's there. And, you know, it's something that you have to really think about and to deal with, because if you don't, then resentment can creep in. And again, when you are not happy with a situation, it impacts your health. And so you could get worn out, tired, and that's no good either. So, you know, with the Ten of Rods, he's very close to completing his task. And there is determination and there is uh, strength to be able to carry those wands to their destination and to get it done. And I would say that at certain times in our lives, yes, we do take on a lot of responsibilities and a lot of obligations, particularly if you're hustling to, to get a graduate degree or to finish school or to, you know, raise a family. You just have a lot going on and you feel like, wow, this is, I'm, I'm, I'm tired. How was there ever a break? And yes, ultimately there will be a break, but to, the extent possible, try to get help and ask for help or to say, I can't do this all by myself. I need assistance. You have to speak up because if you don't speak up sometimes in life, then things don't change. People don't listen. And you know, uh, it, how will, how will your life change if you don't articulate and say, this is what I need. So with this thinking of working hard, pushing these wands up the street, here's the seven of pentacles. And in this illustration, he looks woeful, uh, but he's taking a break from the hard work. So here's the message, which is you might need to take a break. You've been working hard. You're oh so close, but there's no harm in taking a time out. And he's in timeout and he could be in timeout because he's tired. He's saying, when is this ever going to be finished? I don't know that I have the patience for this, for this darn bush to, to flourish. And he may be thinking, gosh, I need a break, but then I'm going to go back and I have a better way of doing things and it's going to be great. So with the seven of pentacles, it can, it, it, there is time and energy and resources being put into the care and the feeding of this pentacle bush. And so you're nurturing it. And again, that's your energy. 
And so taking a moment to step back and to catch your breath is good. And that's a wonderful message because you know what? Doesn't mean that you have to quit. You're very close. And you know, we see the Ace of Pentacles here. This Ace of Pentacles is the promise or the potential of prosperity and abundance within your life. And the Pentacles are saying if you nurture the seeds of hard work, of your common sense or the plan that you've put into place, then you will have abundance not only professionally, financially, but also spiritually. It's just an amazingly positive card of goodness all around. And so if we look at this, we see a lot of hard work within this and we may be um, feeling tired from it and exhausted and thinking, what's the point of this? But perhaps taking a step back and thinking about the big picture and thinking about the time when you will get your reward from your energy spent on your projects, on your goals, on your work, whatever it may be, on your, on your relationships, that there is a re reward coming. And on a literal level, you know, the Ace of Pentacles is always, uh, can be unexpected windfall, found money, money in your pockets when you're ready to put your jeans in the laundry, or, you know, you find a, a penny in the parking lot. So keep your eye open for that. So an interesting spread, uh, driven, I think, by the 10 of rods and this feeling of a lot going on that you are in charge of, that you're handling, that you're responsible for, and that you may need to take a step out just to catch up and maybe to reassess, look at things and then get back in. And that to get back in, ultimately, you're going to have the reward that you're hoping for. So let's take a look at the numbers. We have uh, 10, 17, 18, and 18 reduces to nine, and nine is about nearing completion. It's about uh, spirituality and wisdom, idealism perhaps. And finally, to close the reading, I'm gonna choose an oracle card and we'll get a little more information. Resilience, oh, great card. Great card because you know, it is, resilience is shown through the Seven of Pentacles, through the Ten of Rods, even though we can feel we can get pretty ticked off with the Ten of Rods that we're doing too much or we can feel the pressure. But ultimately, if you can carry on and, and to do what you need to do to have these conversations, to get things to their completion, you know, there's the resilience. So a beautiful card uh, from this Oracle deck, I think, with this reading. I wish you the very best on Thursday. I hope you have a super day. If you enjoyed this reading, please subscribe, like, share, or comment, and see me tomorrow for another reading. Take care. Bye-bye.